we are in the press room of Green Festival 2015. And with me is... Uh, I'm Linda Booker, and I'm the producer and director of a documentary film called Bringing It Home. And it's about industrial hemp and a greener future for America. So you did a presentation this uh, morning on the uh, health benefits of hemp. Uh, what would you say is your origin in this work? Well, I think as a filmmaker, um, I, I haven't been doing documentary films for very long. Uh, this would be my second feature, but you know that you're going to be committing a lot of time and a lot of work, especially in documentary, there's not a lot of money. So chances are you're probably going to be volunteering your time to make a film. Um, so you're looking for a good story. You're looking for something that's compelling. And my friend Blair uh, Johnson, who's actually the co-director on the film and did most of the primary shooting, the cinematography, she had been talking about hemp to me for probably a couple of years. We met at the Center for Documentary Studies at Duke University, and this is a topic she really wanted to do a project on. Um, I needed convincing. I, I think I was pretty skeptical because a lot of uh, hemp activists tend to kind of sell it as a, as a miracle plant that can solve, you know, do so much. And what I discovered is that actually it can do a lot. <laughs> and so my discovery process uh, when I was, was doing the research, um, and then when I actually just stumbled upon an article in USA Today about the nation's first hemp house being built in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, my interest definitely peaked. And then we started, that's kind of where our journey started with, the, with that house and that article. So tell me, uh, what are the five benefits, health benefits of hemp that you presented today? Mm -hmm. So benefits of health. Um, well, if we talk about food and nutrition. Can you just list five of them? Okay. So hemp foods and nutrition provide mm -hmm. an amazing sense of a uh, source of protein. Um, it's the perfect balance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. It's... Um, gluten-free, um, there's no GMO crops that are hemp crops. Um, most hemp that you find on, this, on the stores of, of Whole Foods are, is organic. So you have a very, um, there's uh, nutrients like magnesium um, and uh, there's all kinds of different uh, things in the hemp seed and hemp oil that are very health beneficial for your skin. For Thank your you brain. very much. The hemp that you promote, do you think it can be ad addictive to those who consume it? Uh, no. For one thing, industrial hemp is a different plant from the marijuana plant. Thank you very much. Uh, what would you say to the people of Congress who are listening to your interview as to the need for legislature to have uh, industrial hemp plant uh, approved for growth by farmers in the U.S.? Well, what I, say, what I would say to them is that they need to support the Industrial Hemp Farming Act. There's a congressional bill and a companion Senate bill right now. We need more sponsors on the Senate bill to get it so that there's, it'll come to a vote. This will just redefine industrial hemp and take it out of the substance one narcotic, narcotic category, which just currently exists in, which is just incorrect because hemp cannot be used as a drug. In one, in one or few seconds, who is Dr. Brunner? Doctor, well, Dr. Bronner is known as, um, he's the founder of Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. Um, and he uh, actually just found it was the founder of that company and his grandsons now are the president and vice president. And they actually added hemp oil into the soap product. And that's what gives it a really rich, smooth lather and uh, uh, nutrient qualities. Thank you very much. So your next um, uh, documentary or movie is going to be titled what? <laughs> Well, actually, I just happen to have a metal straw here because I'm going to talk about the plastic use and uh, around something that is so disposable and one-time use, which is something like a straw. Okay, and I recommend that you also Google Sisters in Law so that you see this documentary that features uh, Judge Beatrice Ntuba from Africa, the caller Judge Judy of Africa, and you see her, you know, giving uh, rulings and judgments on children and gender rights. Okay. Uh, all things being equal, I want to say thank you very much for your time. And hopefully we we'll, should be 